So step one is to unfold the tarp. We use the tarp to protect the stretch fabric. Are you ready, Ryan? Okay, so this is unrolling the fabric on top of the tarp. So step two is to stake each corner of the tent into the ground. You want to make sure that your stakes have a nice angle going into the ground. You don't want the stake to be vertical as it might pull out. For open sides on the tent, you want to pop a stake in the ground roughly about 1.5 meters to 2 meters away from the tent edge. So I'm just going to tie a simple knot around the stake. Just by creating a loop there for us to put the carabiner through. Now, this will now create an angle point for the, the guy rope coming off the tent. One really important factor with knots is to make sure they're really tight and secure. Um, it's pull on the line as hard as you can and make sure that knot won't come undone. Check on that carabiner. So to explain the simple steps that we've done here, we first of all just connect the poles, like so. Then with the eye bolts, find the top of the pole and thread the eye bolt through, making sure that the top of the eye bolt is nice and secure to the pole top. So with the stretch structures cleat system, we have three carabiners, which will go to three separate lugs on the tent edge. The ones on the left hand side, the left and right hand side, attach straight to the tent edge, whereas the carabiner in the center needs to be attached to the eye bolt that we just put through the top of the pole. With another carabiner, we then attach the top of that pole to the tent edge. The first part is going to grab the wing. Okay, so the first pole to come inside the tent is the king pole. However, to push against the fabric, we use the secondary pole to support the weight, as sometimes, as Ryan's shown, it can be quite hard to push the fabric up. Now that's in place, we can remove this other pole and the king pole is where it should be supporting the weight of the fabric. Okay, now that the king pole is in place, we can add other interior poles, supporting the fabric and creating more shape. It's okay to push against the fabric. When the pole's in place, when it's tight enough, you should only be able to, be able to lift the pole up by a couple of mil. Okay, so now that we've got the tent in place with the guide ropes securely fastened, because we've got such a, a windy day, we're gonna pop in this extra storm strap just to protect the fabric from raising up too much and protecting them interior poles from falling over.